Beloved people of God, good morning. Welcome to our midweek devotional from Parkwood Presbyterian Church. If you were with us last week on the day of Epiphany, you may remember that I shared a word from Psalm 117, which talked about the ways that all of God's people are drawn together in prayer and in praise. That same day, there was an insurrection at the United States Capitol building. And so today, we're going to take a deeper dive into what unity really and truly looks like through the lens of the Belhar Confession. This is one of our Presbyterian confessions, which you can find in the Book of Confessions. And it was written during apartheid in South Africa by the black churches specifically. And so this is a portion, not the whole thing, it is a portion of that confession. It says, we believe that God has revealed God's self as the one who wishes to bring about justice and true peace among people. We believe that God in a world full of injustice and enmity is in a special way the God of the destitute, the poor, and the wronged. That God calls the church to follow God in this, for God brings justice to the oppressed and gives bread to the hungry. That God frees the prisoner and restores sight to the blind that God supports the downtrodden, protects the stranger, helps orphans and widows, and blocks the path of the ungodly. That for God, pure and undefiled religion is to visit the orphans and the widows in their suffering. That God wishes to teach the church to do what is good and seek the right. That the church must therefore stand by people in any form of suffering and need, which implies, among other things, that the church must witness against and strive against any form of injustice, so that justice may roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. That the church, as the possession of God, must stand where the Lord stands, namely against injustice and with the wronged. That in following Christ, the church must witness against all the powerful and privileged who selfishly seek their own interests and thus control and harm others. Those statements might seem radical in today's day and age, but in reality, as you can see, they are actually taken directly from scripture, each and every one of them. And I will put the, the references in the description box. So when we think about what comes next for us as a country, I encourage us to keep these things in mind. This is how we anchor ourselves as God's people in a chaotic world, not only by saying peace, calm, ah, but by standing against what is wrong and oppressive and evil. Thanks be to God. Amen.